What's up, guys? My name is Micah Brown. I know I look like Lieutenant Dan. Because he found his legs. But like Lieutenant Dan, I also was in the Army, believe it or not. Alright? So. There's jokes. Okay, so. I was a Black Hawk door gunner, right? One night in Afghanistan, a bird went right through the pilot's window, knocked him out. We crashed in an Afghanistan pop farm. And that was the night we killed two birds and got stoned, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, yoga pants, let's talk about it, guys. I feel like the same people that wear yoga pants when they're not on their way to do yoga or the way from doing yoga, or like the same people that wear camouflage who are not actively hunting or actively being hunted. You know what I'm saying? The thing that blows my mind is there's camouflage yoga pants out there, dude. What are those for? Are you trying to stretch in secret? Are you part of the Indian Special Forces, dude? Are you part of an elite group of goat yoga? Also known as deer murder yoga? Be honest with me, guys. Nothing would taste better than a deer you murdered yourself after a hot yoga studio session in the woods, dude. That's enlightenment, guys. You become one with nature, and then you establish your dominance over the nature. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, people talk about like the internet and the clicks and the likes and the news and all how that's affecting our lives or whatever. I don't want to talk about that. That's a first world problem. I want to talk about something that affects all of humanity around the globe, okay? We're addicted to brushes, all right? <laughs> I'm a guy with most of my teeth and a lot of hair, okay? And I gotta brush my teeth and my hair. I'm reliant, okay? What does everybody do? Everybody poops. What's right next to you in your most intimate moment? A toilet brush. You can't escape, guys. They're everywhere. What's a broom? It's a brush for the dust on your floor. A rake? A brush for the leaves on your lawn. That's a five to one ratio of brushes to cell phones, guys. Wake up, America. <laughs> Combs. Not a real word. Propaganda. Okay? You know what a comb is, really? It's a concealed carry assault brush. <laughs> And they sell them to children. <laughs> Our forefathers didn't know. Bob Ross, let's talk about it. <laughs> He's a junkie, dude. He's using brushes every day, bro. Look at him now. Oh, wait, you can't. He's dead. He OD'd on brushes. That's not what the big brush corporations want you to think. Oral B. L'Oreal. Illuminati. I love you guys. Y'all ever talked to girls before? Have you ever talked to a girl before? Okay. That's really funny, guys, because he's sitting next to a expecting woman. And I hope they know each other. Um, <laughs> so, I was on Tinder earlier, and I was talking to this girl, right? And she was like, I'm not ready for kids yet. I can't even keep a plane alive. I was like, that's stupid. That's real dumb. 
I got good news for you guys. Because it's way easier to keep a baby alive than it is to keep a plant alive. All right? You can feed a baby. You can keep a baby warm. You can keep a baby clean. It's still going to cry about something. You're not going to forget about a baby. But plants die stoically. <laughs> You walk downstairs one day, you're like, dude, what happened? He's all dried out and shit. You're like, why do you say anything, man? <laughs> My advice to you guys is practice on babies and graduate to plants. Like, maybe have a couple kids. And uh, you may, you know, like a goldfish face for a couple of years, <laughs> and then move on to plants. You gotta help yourself, help other people. You gotta put that oxygen mask on yourself before you put that oxygen mask on that plant. Don't do that. Plants breathe carbon dioxide. <laughs> you would know that if you had a baby. <laughs> Because what, what did you guys do? Y'all went to school, right? Elementary, Bill Nye, on, on, Bill Nye the Science Guy on TV or whatever. You're like, I'm a brat. I don't want to learn anything. And you grow up. You have a baby. You're like, hey, man, this stuff's important. Let me help you out with your homework. And that's the first time you learn about photosynthesis. <laughs> now, I don't have a baby. I can barely say the word photosynthesis. <laughs> but I'm an uncle to a couple nieces and several nephews, dude. <coughs> All right? Now let me tell you this, guys. Photosynth photosynthesis <laughs> is metal, dude. It's hardcore. All right? That's where the trees are eating the sun. Okay? The trees are literally eating the sun. That's hardcore. Trees are metal. Okay. Trees are metal. Trees are wood, but they're still hardcore. Like Vikings make ships out of them and stuff. Like a day in the life of a tree, right? You uh, drink some water from the roots, you breathe some carbon dioxide, you eat the sun, and then you fart oxygen. <laughs> Everything you're breathing right now, hardcore tree farts. <laughs> All right? California, let's talk about it. Then. They're like, oh no, what do we do? All the trees are on fire. Hey, California. You need three things to make a fire. You need a heat source, an oxygen source, and a fuel source, you know? And I talked to y'all about trees, y'all know. Trees fart oxygen, and they're made out of wood. Hey, California, read a book. Raise a baby. All right. While we're on the topic of wood. Um, so whiskey, right? Whiskey is just wood-flavored alcohol, OK? Barbecue? We're in Texas. That's just wood flavored or hot wood flavored meats. You know? A lot of people drink whiskey, a lot of people drink bar or eat barbecue. But you get caught in class one time eating paper, you're the weird kid forever. <laughs> Explain that to me. I don't get it. I don't know. I've been thinking about Become a vegetarian. Because yeah. yes. I thought of the perfect loophole for becoming a vegetarian, right? Anything can be a vegetable if you hit it in the head hard enough. <laughs> like if you have a hammer, you can eat whatever you want. Uh, 
So another little something about me. I lost my virginity in an orgy. Okay. Get up, dude. That's right? Y'all ever been on a fishing trip with all your uncles? <laughs> all right, guys. I want to do something for you guys. It's very special to me. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story, and I'm gonna do it. All right. So my mom had to move. She had a downsize, right? And she had these hats. You know, I got two hats right here. I got a bit called Two Hats. You're about to see it. <laughs> so, she, she told, she came to me, and she's like, hey, none of the other kids want the hats. Like, <laughs> this one, this one used to be my dad's, and this one used to be my grandfather's. I was like, I'm a comedian. I can do something with this, all right? I'm gonna keep the hats, I'm gonna turn it into a bit. So I'm gonna do that bit for you guys right now. Yeah! All right. There's a snake in my boot. Scott <laughs> Baba Doo Baba Doo Baba You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Scott Baba Doo Baba Doo Baba It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Scott Baba Doo Baba Doo Baba Alright guys, my name is Micah Brown, thank you so much.